Muri Zimbabwe tino kushinga mizo ya bachirongwa ito Zim review ndi na ito wao No? No? Yes? No? No. 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 What's up guys, it's Kit here, back with Zim Review, and today I'm back again with Dean Tanya. What's up guys, how you doing? Yeah, and today we're gonna be talking about... The internet. The internet. 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 It's not a... It's 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 a... Hope you guys are doing great. It's been a while since I uploaded, and... Life, hey, life. So yeah, one of my first videos, I was with this dude right here, and we were talking about. We were talking about fast food. So good as chicken, man. So good as chicken. So yeah, we're fa talking about fast yeah, fast food restaurants. You're chicken in, blah blah blah. Check out the link again. And so today we're gonna be talking about not all the internet providers in Zimbabwe, but we're gonna be talking about the main internet providers in Zimbabwe, and that is Zol and Telwa. So what we're gonna be talking about mostly is comparing the two when it comes to speed, prices, and overall experience. First one we're gonna be tackling is how you go about acquiring one of each. You're obviously gonna go to their offices or call them, tell them you want to acquire your Wi-Fi services at the premises. They give you forms to fill and stuff like that. Till one, however, they still require proof of residence. Why, why would anyone want to put wi-fi yeah, at, at somebody else's house <laughs> yeah I, I, I how how, that, how yeah. can that be a crime hello 911 <laughs> it's, it's 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 a guy he, they're putting wi-fi in my house <laughs> i didn't i didn't order that i don't know why they still do that but it, is this still a private state or it was it's now privately owned i'm not i'm not exactly sure for zoe they mostly take around five to seven working days for us we acquired it took us a maximum of two weeks for us to inquire pay and for them to come and put everything up till one however how long how long did it t take us for till one i don't know did it take months Two, two months two at months, least, yeah. at least two months because we actually had to go to other offices in town and then we had to switch and then they had to call us, okay, now you can come and pay and after we paid, it took two more weeks for them to come and actually put up the ADSL. Tier 1 does now have fiber in some areas, but that's mostly on the other side of Samora, not for Povo. Ayo, <laughs> no, that's... that's for the people there. We're not, we're not there, we're still like at ADSL. That was our experience when it came to acquiring the two. And then we've got the packages, right? What packages do they have? Yeah, well, these two service providers have quite different types of packages they offer. And beginning with Zoll, their first package, the cheapest package, would be the $29 per month, which is for 25 gigs, and that goes for 5 megabytes per second in terms of speed. The second package goes for $39 for 35 gigabytes of data, also at 5 megabytes per second, and that's a per month basis. And the third package for the cap packages, which goes for $89 for 75 gigs of data which goes at 10 megabytes per second in terms of speed actually all these packages coming from tel one and so are all on a per month basis there is no yearly payment or any of that but tel one also has these sub packages this is called sub packages that go for a day they just call them sub packages sub packages and for tel one the cheapest package goes for $15 and you get 8 gigabytes of data at 2 megabytes per second. Their second package goes for $25, you get 30 gigabytes of data and that is 3 megabytes per second. Their third package goes for $42, you get 60 gigabytes of data and that is capped at 5 megabytes per second. And those are the cap packages for all these to provide it. There is also the unlimited, unlimited unlimited packages. They have a package which goes for $149 and you get, you know, unlimited for the whole month. And that goes for 20 megabytes per second. 
Then there are also other packages. It's just for more speed, but <laughs> the first one is already good as it is already at 20 megabytes per second. And then for Tel 1, we have the Infinity Pro package, which goes for $89. You get unlimited at five megabytes per second then they also have intense which goes for 120 dollars and then you also get the same speed as zoid 149 which is 20 megabytes per second unlimited for a month those are the packages as for the overall experience what do you prefer well <laughs> i think it's an obvious choice that most people would prefer as well i i personally prefer as <laughs> well because they offer a better experience they have efficient customer support like if you would go to to Zool and then you'd want them to do something for you they'd probably do it in less time than tell one tell one would probably take you like more than two weeks for them to actually follow up on your oh, issue tell they take that time yeah. nee. kind of like a trade-off if you're gonna be going for Zool, right if you're gonna be paying like let's say you want the unlimited package not every Everyone can afford that, right? It starts as $150 at 20 megabytes per second, and we use that for a month. And this other month, we just like we really wanted to use Wi Fi at that speed, so you know, we saved up and we bought that, and it was kind of awesome. Other time, I had a problem with Zoll, and I went on their website on the chat thing that was like at 3 a.m. They replied me and they called me the next morning, and my problem was probably solved in two two days time that was a problem to do with the night all bundles i thought i was using them but then i wasn't using them i was using my main account bundles their services are kind of more efficient as compared to tell one when you go to tell one when you walk into their offices you expect hey welcome to tell one how can we help you you have these people talking nyas they just look at you like okay but it goes again for the price because tell one is kind of cheaper it's kind of a trade-off right if you're not gonna be paying for this there's a famous saying that my old boss told me cheap things are expensive if you're gonna be going for tell one you're gonna be obviously paying less which is more affordable which is exactly what we want as zimbabweans is affordable internet and tell one is kind of that go-to service provider for most people if you're not willing to pay extra you pay with your time you opt for tell one that's basically my theory that's our experience with um tell one and zo We're not trying to trash on tell one or zo these are just our experiences and if you go on their facebook page if you go on their twitter i think tell one is probably one of the most trashed <laughs> companies out there at this point they don't even care <laughs> which way you gonna I think, go i think i think the, 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 they're basically like when someone posts something about tell one being this bad service they just basically put the same message to everyone <laughs> well they're just kind of waiting like okay when's the next person gonna come they just copy paste send because you know what what are you gonna do you're not gonna move over and go to zoo because they are freaking expensive and you're not gonna go to any other service provider because you know they're just inefficient or they don't even offer the services so yeah this is kind of the dilemma that we are in as zimbabweans you know you want good wi-fi but it's it's freaking expensive people aren't doing so well and we are kind of in the information age where internet is a mandate at this point so if you're gonna be going for tail one you're paying with your time and patience <laughs> you have to be patient very very patient, very patient. currently we are using tail one and I don't want to lie sometimes it goes down for like five to ten minutes like what two to three times a week if you can live through that then yeah the one is your service provider to go for if you live on the other side of samora and you know daddy gets paid you can go for zol is that our date no that's not our date. Yes. okay